communities, just one trillion dollars and spend it specifically just on urban communities right. in our country, I, I think we would have crime rate would completely drop down. So okay. without question, um, I think Donald right. Trump was just echoing That's and declaring to the country why it's so important that this crime rate that is plaguing, right. that is, it's a fact, plaguing okay. our African American communities come to a minimum. All right, well, well, well I, I don't know where we're going to find an extra trillion dollars when we're $17 trillion in debt, but uh, we'll look past her. We appreciate it, sir. Thank you. Happy to be here. All right, to good, to, good to see you. Liz? All right, now to the other side of the aisle. Hillary Clinton is dodging accusations. She held private meetings with Clinton Foundation donors during her time as Secretary of State as an exchange for their donations. Her team blasting the Associated Press report, saying that half of her one-on-one -on -one meetings as Secretary of State were with Foundation donors. Clinton says the investigation only looked at snippets of her calendar, the AP defending their story, saying the reporters looked at all available documents. So, uh, Mustafa, reaction is coming out now that we've learned that the State Department is uh, effectively going to be withholding about uh, the other half of her calendar until December 30th. How does Hillary Clinton really dodge any criticism between now and November? Look, first, I think AP should be given four Pinocchios for their story. Anyone looking at that story beyond that first paragraph knows it was completely you know, false and misleading. When you look at 153 people, uh, any Secretary of State, Hillary Clinton or otherwise, in two years, you know they've seen over 1,000 folks. So it, it, was a, it was a wrong story. AP should be you know, ashamed of itself. For, I'm going to have to have let Ron react to this because you use the word false, you use the word misleading, but the AP has in there that 85 out of 154 meetings resulted in some type of donation to the Clinton Foundation. You're saying that that's not true, and then I want to get Ron's well, here's, reaction. But here's the issue, here's the problem, is that Hillary Clinton and, and Mustafa are saying that there's smoke and no fire, that out of these, you know, you're seeing a lot of meetings where a lot of donors showed up at the State Department. I don't care what the percentage it happened. You're saying that there's all smoke and no fire. Here's the problem. Julian Assange is coming out and saying, hey, you know, maybe I do have the fire and we have more stuff to release. This, the, the judge just ordered the State Department to release 15,000 more emails. And so maybe the fire does exist and it's going to be a problem for Hillary Clinton. And it's creating a bigger problem because of the fallout from it, especially with the key part of the Democrat base. Millennials. We, we run a millennial polling average. Right now, she's around 40%. You have to remember, President Obama got 60%. You get into the, the data, it's because they think she's dishonest. This backs up that point that people think she's dishonest, that she did things in the State Department for her own personal gain. Name me somebody in Congress who has a personal charity that people donate to. They, you donate to campaigns, that's, that's one thing, but a personal private charity is something totally different. It backs up this view that she's corrupt, that she's dishonest, and that's why, you know, that's why she's not running away with this election. That's why it's still very close, and Donald Trump has a chance if he plays air-free baseball. Okay, Mustafa, I want look, you to uh, respond to that. Uh, look, one, she's a double-digit lead, so she, she's very far away from Donald Trump. But look at, the, look at the evidence that they pointed out. They said there was a meeting with Muhammad Yunus, who's a Nobel Peace Prize winner, uh, who founded modern, you know, micro lending across the world, and they said there was a, a meeting with a banker and a donor. This is ridiculous, and once you read beyond that first paragraph of AP, you realize it, and I think that, uh, again, I think AP should be ashamed, and I know they're rolling back their story quite a bit from what they originally started, but getting back to the other part, Hillary Clinton has been working on this her entire career, and the charity, they've not taken any money from it, personal money from the charity, they've been doing good around the world, and to, to denigrate the work they've been done, they've been saving lives, uh, lifting people out of poverty, these are important things that have to be done. Now they, so, now, so now they care about classified information in Hillary Clinton. Now they do, right? Nothing mattered when she had her own private email server, well, but now they're combing to make sure. Bill, and Bill, we Bill, say, and hold on, can I, all right. as soon as possible. All right, okay, Ron, you can have the last word, and then we have to wrap thank it up. Thank you. Okay, this is why, you know, Jason Chavis is saying when he gets, when he's getting documents from the State Department, most of the stuff's been redacted. Stuff from the FBI has been redacted. Here's the issue. You know, Mustafa, you might be one of the one in three Americans that think she's honest, 33%. That's not very much. And here's the thing, is that, you know what, Donald Trump is staying closer in the race. And because of this issue, it's because people don't think she's dishonest. And it's a really sad state for American politics when it's a race to see who's either disliked or distrusted the most. It's a sad state of American politics. She should be above this if she okay. really thinks she's going to be the next president of the United States. Ron Mustafa, I wish Double we had more time. I'm going to have close. to wrap it up. Thank you so much for joining us, gentlemen. We appreciate it. I hope we continue this conversation.